Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 45, Power Apps Portals Branding. While the look and feel is an important consideration for any Power App, I would argue that for Power Apps Portals, it's something that you need to pay even more attention to, especially if the portal is external facing to an audience like customers or partners. In this tip, I'll cover some of the concepts you'll need to know to customize the appearance of your Power Apps Portal. The first thing people generally want to change on their portal is the logo that appears in the top left corner. This is controlled via the mobile header content snippet, which you can edit using the new portal designer, the legacy front side editor, or in the model driven app. Upload your logo as a web file and update the URL that appears in the content snippet. Next, Power Apps Portals uses the Bootstrap framework to handle most of the styling throughout the site. Bootstrap is a popular framework with many themes available for free to download, or you can use tools to create your own Bootstrap theme. I personally like bootstrap-live-customizer.com. Note that the portal uses Bootstrap version 3.3.6. It is not yet compatible with version 4 of Bootstrap. Once you have your new Bootstrap theme CSS file, I find the easiest way to add it to your portal is to use the model-driven app to replace the note attached to the theme.css web file. While the Bootstrap theme will change many aspects of the look and feel of your portal, it doesn't cover everything. You'll most likely need to add additional CSS classes to your portal to fill in the gaps. When you identify these gaps, use your browser's developer tools to inspect the elements to determine the CSS classes you'll need to override. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 45 on Power Apps Portals branding useful.